A week or two on the sidelines to deal with a minor hamstring strain may be a blessing in disguise for Panthers superstar Nathan Cleary. Coach Ivan Cleary today revealing his son and halfback will get the chance to rest another injury which has been causing him trouble this season. The top cat looking a bit proppy as he walked into training, but his dad and coach didn't seem concerned in the slightest, even if it was his son's second hammy in two seasons. That seems to have a sabbatical every year, so this one's a bit earlier. So, um, opportunity for others, um, it's not too bad. So that's I think this, that's the pleasing thing where he felt the same thing last year before he actually did it properly. There's some talk he could play after this week, or is he going to risk it at all? Yeah, no, he actually might be able to play next week. Uh, that's just a, it's, you know, with a bike coming up the following week, it's just going to be a question of see how he goes. Ivan has revealed Nathan has been carrying a painful injury. He's had a, a fascia injury in his foot since pre-season. This might be a silver lining where he can fix that up as well in the meantime. Is that an operation to fix up that foot injury? No, no it's just a bit of time. While Brad Schneider comes in at half, the responsibility of running the side falls to Jerome Luai. To guide the side around, do you, you don't have to tell him anything, do you? No, that's, the thing is, you know, when you lose your, you know, your main play, playmaker, it's an opportunity for everyone just to sharpen up and step up. And, and Romy's definitely you know, in that category, so you know, I don't have to say anything to Romy, he knows. Part of Jerome's role, helping Maverick Geyer, the son of firebrand Mark Geyer, and the nephew of Greg Alexander, through his debut. How similar is he to Dad? He's a pretty big lad, Mav. Well, um, I didn't get the joy of playing with MG. I played against him and tried to yeah, avoid him as much as I could. So, um, yeah, they're a little bit different. The game's a bit different these days. So he hasn't got that streak? I haven't seen it, man. Danny Weidler, Nine News. With Mitch Moses expected to miss two months of footy with a broken foot, the Eels have named Blaze Talungi in the halves this week, shifting Dylan Brown to halfback. Talungi impressed on debut in the centres on Sunday, scoring a try in that win over Manly. At the Rabbitohs, Jason Dimitriou has stuck with Dean Hawkins at halfback, opting not to recall Lachlan Ilias. While the Roosters have received a big boost, Luke Keary and Sam Walker both cleared of head injuries to line up against the reigning Premier's Penrith on Thursday nights. It's one of rugby league's most iconic grounds, but the New South Wales government today effectively called full-time on Leichhardt Oval as an NRL venue, declaring they won't fund a multi-million dollar upgrade. After the Tigers' threats to walk away, it means this season's fixtures at the ground would be their last. It's a long way from Leichhardt, but at the Premier's appearance in a city pub today, it seems he's called last drinks for the Tigers' spiritual home. I'd love to have the spare revenue to pump into a suburban stadium at the moment, but I don't have it. The Tigers have no agreement to play at Leichhardt beyond this season, and yesterday said they won't unless it's upgraded. The answer was emphatic. Yeah, look, I'm not going to do that, particularly as... For Tigers games, they're split between those two home grounds. Um, you know, my, my real fear is that we put money into Leichhardt and then the week, week afterwards they'll say, well, now we need the money for Campbelltown. The Dragons' problems on the field after back-to-back -back heavy losses. Yeah, it's probably just the attitude thing. we just got to show more, um, yeah, mongrel and not let them, you know, run through us. Still, Saturday was a special night for Jesse Marshke. After six years in reserve grade, he finally made his NRL debut. It's a long time coming for me and, and watching a lot of my friends and my brother go on to make their debut. And, you know, you can't help, help but be proud of them, but you just also want to sort of do it for yourself. I had plenty of supporters out there, a lot of family. I think there was 80 odd people out there. So, um, yeah, yelling, screaming. No, nah, it was good. It was a good time. Sam Jordan, Nine News.